Hi everyone. I've owned these two Jetson Bolt Pros for over a year now and thought I'd give a quick review of this. Um, as the title implies, there was a bit of a torture testing on this too and I'll get into the details in a little bit here. Um, overall, these have been very nice bikes. Very pleased with the purchase of these things. Uh, I'm even considering buying another one. And I'll explain why in just a moment, but I'm considering buying another one. Uh, they have a 350 watt rear hub motor. They have a single speed um, pedal gear uh, down here, is what I'm talking about. This means less wear and tear. You don't, don't have a derailleur to get banged around when you're loading into the back of your car to take it someplace. Uh, this is, I think, a very big plus. The uh, throttle is a variable speed throttle on the grip and believe it or not this right here is a cruise control that you can set for when you're going down the road for whatever speed you'll just, you'll just maintain it it is so cool uh, you can't forget the little bell here yeah I gotta have that uh, disc brakes front and back uh, it has a top speed of 15 miles an hour uh, I mean, originally I thought, you know, it looks like a clown bike. And, you know, technically 14 inch wheels, it would look like that. But, um, the, uh, they are an easy ride. They are comfortable for me. I'm 5'11 and about 150 pounds. No problem whatsoever. It takes me right along. It doesn't have, uh, any issues. Uh, it's mostly flat ground around here. But, uh, I've had no issues with them. Um, I'll, uh, explain now why I'm thinking about getting another one, uh, because, uh, my son, who I got the second one for, um, he likes riding fast. Uh, so when we first got them, he also liked stopping really hard, really fast, and making the back wheel go up into the air when he stops suddenly. Hey, Dad, look at this. And he'd make it go up in the air. Thought it was the best thing in the world. I kept telling him, you're going to wear the brakes out. Well, he did. He wore the brakes out. And uh, so then I was working a lot of hours. He wanted to ride around. I said, okay, you can ride mine. He did the same thing to mine. He wore the brakes out on it, too. But uh, we're pretty mechanically inclined. And uh, he uh, managed to get the brakes adjusted and working fairly well. So they're still stopping him. Um, that was part of the torture test, was, uh, how well the brakes held up to him being so hard on them. Uh, the other part of the torture test was that he likes to not just accelerate, he likes to, he, there's a pedal assist on these things. It's a single level pedal assist, but you feel it as soon as you start pedaling, it'll kick in after a couple of turns, and, uh, it, it's pretty dramatic it's it's very helpful I don't ever use it I bought these things because they are electric I'm not gonna pedal I'm gonna ride uh, so anyway but he what he likes to do is he likes to pull the full throttle he likes to go full throttle and start pedaling really hard as hard as he can at the same time uh, to get maximum quick acceleration he, he, he likes going around town and from stop signs, racing other bikes, racing golf carts, uh, the occasional car. Uh, that's just what he likes to do. So doing that, um, I can tell you this, the motor has never hiccuped or given any problem whatsoever. It just keeps on going. That is, I mean, it's pretty severe how he takes off and it doesn't even care. No, no issues whatsoever. Uh, the only problem he has had is he has blown out the inner tube like three or four times on the rear tire because if you think about it there's a lot of stress in that rear tire when he accelerates so hard he throws all of his weight pretty much back onto the back tire and it's just a 14 inch tire so he blows them out he's blown them out three or four times um, more than that I think actually um, so that's been an extreme thing so, what I've said so far, you know, brake pads and inner tubes, that's nothing to do with the bike, and it's exactly to do with his way he rides the things. Um, 
but uh, so as far as the design and quality of the bike goes nothing has failed until I get to this one point right here now and this also has to do with his quick very fast acceleration the uh, here first I'll show you the good one here is mine this is the clamp that you would flip down and bring your handlebars back to fold them down so you can put it into the car more easily well on his like I said when you would clip the handle the the thing down the handlebar flips backwards well of course with his pedaling so hard his quick acceleration he's always pulling on this steering on the handlebars from you know he's pulling on when he's doing his quick acceleration well believe it or not this bracket that held, that holds the steering column up it didn't break for the first year uh, it just broke a few weeks ago and he had to rig up a bracket here now so that it's permanent it doesn't fold anymore and it still works just fine that's the only actual original piece of equipment on this bike that has actually failed and that was because of like I said a torture test a severe uh, handling he's done in this thing and it took a year for that to fail these bikes are really durable and like I said I'm seriously considering getting another one uh, for me only and so that I can have my brakes be normal and, and everything be normal about my bike without it having to be worn down and he can go back and forth between these two bikes keeping one of them in operating condition keeping a new inner tube in it and so on uh, so yeah I hope that's helpful to people uh, like I said there is you know okay these are refurbished these are factory remanufactured Jetson calls them and they're on their site right now for two hundred and fifty dollars these things will go 15 miles an hour for like 15 miles something these things are quality and like I said it's a factory remanufactured when mine came in the only thing you could see that was not new about the thing was that it was scuffed by a wrench when somebody was putting it on before other than that the bike looked brand spanking new and uh, I don't get that right as much as my son does and like I said he loves racing and chasing and uh, with that kind he's done that with both these bikes with that kind of hard use not just commuting or riding around uh, these things haven't had any issues like I said that's the only thing that failed and that was after a year of severe use um, so really and truly these things are worth every bit of $250 for crying out loud you just can't go wrong